Congressman Jason Chaffetz, Chairman of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. Great to see you, Mr. Chairman. So hey, th let's just zero in on Cheryl Mills. She's Hillary's yeah. top aide, and she's also Hillary's lawyer. And she was given a much broader immunity deal than you knew. Tell us about it. Well, she not only got immunity from handling or mishandling classified information, but also obstruction. So nearly a year after the FBI initially seized the computer and thumb drives uh, from the law, the law offices, almost a year later, suddenly Cheryl Mills gets an immunity deal that protects her against obstruction and uh, and mishandling classified information. And one of the things that she claimed, as Catherine just outlined, was I didn't even know about the server until 2013. Yeah. But now this email surfaces from 2010 talking about how it, is the server up and running. So what, who did she lie to? To you? Did she lie to the FBI? Well, I think she lied to everybody. I mean, to the FBI. I mean, I'm the one that brought that up to, to Director Comey, and I said, how is it that the FBI report concludes that she did not know about it until after it became public, when back in 2010, she was sending an email to uh, Mr. Cooper. Now, Cooper works for the Clinton Foundation, or Bill Clinton. He does not work for the State Department. So when there's a problem with the with her email, what does he do? She sends an, uh, an email to this person asking, is the server okay? And this person, Mr. Cooper, writes back and says, oh, you're funny, you're on the same server. So, come on, Th there's direct well, what did Comey say to that? How did, he how did he justify the FBI's conclusion that she didn't? He doesn't. He doesn't. It makes no sense with Cheryl Mills. Not only is she a witness, not only does she have to get an immunity deal, but she's also Hillary Clinton's attorney, and she's allowed to. So what's sit the takeaway here? The, so the, the American person, you know, sitting at home, why do they care about Cheryl Mills and this, you know, possible deception and so on? because you're worried that the lady justice has a little different blindfold in place when it deals with the Clintons. We issued a subpoena on September 15th of this year, and these documents on that were on Reddit were destroyed four days later. I want the FBI to go in and look at that. I want Hillary Clinton, if this was just a mistake, why is it that everybody's pleading the fifth and having to get immunity deals? I want Hillary Clinton to look in the camera and tell people there's immunity, they're not gonna prosecute, tell Congress and tell the American people the truth.